How's it going everyone? My name is Charlie. This behind me is my Great Dane puppy Roxy, who is now a big girl. She is now two years old as of the end of September. And I just wanted to do a video today to talk about what it is like now that Roxy is two years old. And, <laughs> and what a long way she has come. And if you are somebody that's thinking about getting a Great Dane or you have one that is a puppy, there is nothing like that puppy stage. And you will <laughs> be so happy. I mean, it's a little bittersweet because they're so adorable when they're young and they're so cute, but man, are they so much work when they are young and they just become easier and easier as they get older. And that's one of the first things that I wanted to talk about today is just the fact that at two years old, Roxy is so low maintenance outside of how affectionate she is. She is just super easy. One of the very underrated metrics, I think, when considering what breed you wanna bring into your house is how much they like to rest or how much they like to sleep. Roxy and Great Danes are kind of that best of both worlds. When you're ready to be active, they love to be active. When you just wanna lay around, they are more than happy to lay around. And they don't have such demanding energy and activity requirements like some breeds. So that is one thing that I've just come to absolutely love about this breed. And they just end up being very low maintenance, which is just wonderful. Around two years is also some of the times that you might be thinking about spaying and neutering your Great Dane. You might be thinking about um, getting their stomach tacked so it doesn't flip over on itself. Um, some of these different surgeries have been recommended to me at the two-year mark or once they have matured and once they're done growing. But obviously consult your vet and whoever you're taking them to for re regular care um, when considering getting some of these different procedures done. So if that is something that you're thinking about, I would prepare ahead, plan ahead, budget ahead because some of, the <laughs> some of these can be expensive. When it comes to socialization, Roxy continues to be fantastic with people, but a little bit not as great when playing with other dogs. Mostly because when she's playing with other dogs, she's so excited and she's pretty clumsy. And when you're excited, clumsy, and you weigh 120 pounds, you can annoy other dogs. You might not be the best playmate with other dogs. When it comes to people though, I, have, I cannot tell you how many people that I've interacted with, with that would have considered themselves you know, I'm not a dog person. I don't really like dogs, but there is something about this breed that is just absolutely magical when it comes to making people into dog people that normally don't enjoy dogs. There's some, <laughs> there, there's just something magical about them. And actually, if you stay tuned, there is a strong possibility that closer to the Christmas time that Roxy might be having a sibling as well. So stay tuned, some exciting things about that in the future. Other things that I've noticed over the last two years, toys certainly come and go. Obviously the destructive bite force is something that will just destroy most toys, even if they're rated to be for like heavy or very strong chewers. A Great Dane will still eat their way through it over time. But one thing that I just find adorable is that Roxy just really loves toys. And it's hysterical for me to watch, you know, a dog act like a, a young child would when it comes to like, oh, this is my favorite toy. I carry it with me everywhere I go. And it is just adorable to see. It is something that even though Roxy does destroy a lot of toys, I keep getting them, but I do have the expectations that this might only last a month if I'm lucky. Roxy continues like every dog to absolutely love walks. They're so stimulating for her in a number of different ways. Although in the past, we have done a lot more running when we go out on the track and stuff like that. But recently Roxy will just put her nose to the ground almost like a bloodhound and just be sniffing for 95% of the walk. She just absolutely loves that level of mental stimulation that she's getting from it, but she just absolutely loves it. Again, one thing that I tied into in the last video that I wanted to touch on very briefly, that you rarely go to the vet once they become grown. You know, unless there is a problem and for not all problems, do you need to go see a vet? There have been times that Roxy has had 
a difficulty or two, but because they were a difficulty that she's had treated in the past, we just had leftover medicine from the last time that happened. One also wonderful thing about this past summer is Roxy didn't have any hives, any allergic reaction, or any cause for concern that she did have when she was, you know, in her first 12 months. That first summer we had her here, she was having all kinds of hives on her back. But now, and it, we had her on medicine then, and we had her on the same medicine essentially now, and you know, we haven't had anything like that, which has just been absolutely wonderful. But, you know, unless you're getting a procedure done or getting a routine like vaccination or something that you might need every, every six months, you're really not at the vet that often anymore. But if you really just are, if you're discouraged or if you're tired and you're in that puppy phase, things do get better. This breed is so charming. They're so wonderful. And they, <laughs> and they really become just wonderful, wonderful companions that are really low maintenance outside of affection. Outside of affections, they're happy to be around, they're happy to sleep, they're happy to play. They just, <laughs> it's so much less effort that it's hard to quantify just because like when they're a puppy, there's, there's so much effort that goes into it. They need stuff all the time. And once they become adults, they're just wonderful companions. They're so much easier. And if you're just struggling in that puppy phase, keep going. I know you can do it. <laughs> and things do get better and they don't get a little bit better. They get incredibly better. Stay encouraged, you can do it. But thank you all so much for your support on our channel. We deeply appreciate it. But well, thanks for stopping by and thanks for rocking with us.